Well, hello everybody from a windy, cold day out here at the beach. Hope you can hear me. I got a new microphone here, so hopefully the audio quality is a little better than it's been. Anyway, we had a big windstorm last night, and I came out to this beach last week, and I got some, some cool pictures of a new bird. I believe it's a snow bunting, so I'll roll some of that footage for you here now. So every couple weeks I need to take a break from the birds. I find I put too much pressure on myself and I end up trying to get good shots all the time and it stops me from enjoying the process as much as I'd like to. So we had some clouds, a nice long shoreline, figured I'd just relax, try to take some landscape photos, and uh, get the creative juices flowing with a little bit of wave photography. And then of course you've got the long shoreline, nice soft light, the sea, Easy pickings, right? And you really can't go wrong with driftwood, and it's everywhere, so we'll take that too. And then I saw the bird, and this is where chaos broke out. There's a small bird out there. I hope I don't scare it. So I absolutely do not enjoy changing lenses on a sandy beach. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Thankfully there wasn't a whole lot of wind on this day. Now this snow bunting would not let me get close. I'm using a 300mm prime with a 1.4 teleconverter. So what does that give me? 840 equivalent? I mean it's tough. Every time I moved up close it would move that much further away. It never really got comfortable with me being on the beach with it. So as you can see, the waves are crashing in the background. I tried to get as low as I could, and luckily we got a little bit of light, and the bird actually stayed still for a few seconds. So I'll roll some of those shots now. So yeah, with those shots and that little experience, you know, I came out here to do some landscape photography, but I got distracted by the bird. So I wanted to come back here today and just see what we could find. Um, with the storm last night, I was thinking maybe there might be some interesting patterns in the dunes. And I just walked onto the beach and these waves are huge. Like these are the biggest waves I've ever seen out here. So I think I'll strap on the GoPro and uh, just do a little POV because the wind's going to be too much to vlog in and see what we can come up with. Whatever comes our way, we'll try to photograph. But I mean, look at these waves. All right, so we bundled up, made sure we had our coffee, got our camera ready, and look at that full sun. There are some clouds in the distance, which do help us out later. But in the meantime, I really had to work on the textures in the sand being created from the wind and some of the white caps in the sea. So I'm trying not to rely so much on soft light when it comes to landscape photography. In this scene right here, it's a good example too. Um, it's so dynamic, you know, you have those deep dark shadows and then full sun. But working with the shoreline, it kind of gives the photo that anchor point. And uh, we still managed to get something. So this is one of those times where I think a bland blue sky actually really helped me out. It's just two colors. You've got the beige of the sand, the yellow of the dune, and the blue sky. So blues and yellows tend to work pretty well together. And I really do like this vertical shot of the sand dunes. It's simple, it's clean, and then I zoomed out a little bit, grabbed some driftwood, and I like this one as well. So I think these were the two best shots from the beach in the morning. Then I ended up going to see this gull. Okay, I was ready to go home, call it a day. I was ready to leave, and then I came back, saw these clouds in the sky, and said, you know what, let's give it one more go. And this is when things got kind of exciting.
So at this point, the GoPro is long dead, but snow's falling from the sky, the clouds are still rolling in, and the seas look great, so I start making my way down to this little island that you can get to at low tide. I took this picture, which I really do like, I like the blues and the oranges again, and then out of the corner of my eye, I see these wings flapping, and I think they're purple sandpipers, and I don't know what the other one is, so let's enjoy that. So I am well aware that this video was all over the place. I just felt there were a few scenes and a few photos in there that were worth sharing. So I hope you're all doing well, and I'll catch you in the next one.